Hello. So if I've understood your email correctly, um, there's a number of kind of points. So first of all, you've got two uh, between groups factors, which is the control group, um, which just has their normal daily routine. And then you've got the hand massage group. Um, and you're measuring them on the repeated factors, um, which is the pre-score on the the current uh, the current names and the post score on the current names. Okay, so once again, you've just got a bog standard kind of mixed and over with both between and repeated measures factors. But on top of that, you've basically got a gatekeeper where you, you say. Uh, in order to be kind of eligible to take part in your study, uh, you fill in the Alzheimer's disease assessment scale. And if they score over three quarters, which indicates a, um, a kind of pathology score or whatever the cutoff is, I think it's three quarters, um, then, then they can take part in their study. So essentially, once they've passed the gatekeeper, you ignore it. So you've only got um, one dependent measure. So if you go on to G Power and then go on to F Test, as it's an ANOVA, and what we want to do is go on to ANOVA, uh, repeated measures between factors, as I did before. And then we just want to change the relevant things. So we've got the questions of effect sizes. So I think the medium effect size is fine. Alpha value, if you're a psychologist, 0 0.05. Uh, power, change that to 0.8. Number of groups. So once again, this is a little bit controversial, but um, essentially I would argue that you've got two groups here. So you've got the control and the treatment. So that's fine. Number of measurements, you, you've potentially got two, unless you're really interested in the interaction effects. I can't see why particularly you would be, so um, if we just say two again there, that would be fine. Correlation among the repeated measures, well, 0 0.5 is going to be reasonable because you would expect someone on the pre-score and someone on the post-score would be relatively correlated. So once you've done that, um, click calculate and you can see you want a, a total sample size of about 98, which is fairly reasonable. If you go into the XY range, um, we plot um, effect size against total sample size. You can see that as your effect size uh, goes up, your sample size will decrease. Um, and essentially, that's it. Um, relatively similar to before. Okay, uh, any questions, get back to me in the usual way. Thanks.